So one of my favourite films in recent time is Bong Joon-ho's Parasite. You may know of it for its four Oscar wins, or maybe the fact that it's the first international film to win Best Picture. Hollywood's not racist now, apparently. There's a scene in the film where the rich housewife character asks her housekeeper to prepare a dish that anyone reading the English subtitles will know as Ramdong. But for everyone who understands Korean, they'll probably already know this dish as japaguri, which is the combination of two instant noodle dishes. Japagetti, which is a udon-like noodle with a black bean sauce, and nyoguri, which is a spicy seafood broth ramen. It was actually the English translator of the film who coined the term ramdon, combining the words ramen and udon. So for everyone who read the English subtitles, we missed a really clever representation of the wealth gap between the two characters when the mother asks for a one pound instant noodle dish to be prepared with a 100 pound Hanu steak. Hanu beef is impossible to import into the UK currently, so I can't get it. But I can get this, which is a Japanese Wagyu steak. They're one of the most expensive steaks in the world. Wagyu is very commonplace in Michelin star restaurants. It's renowned for being incredibly tender, full of complex, rich flavor, and a texture that just melts like butter in your mouth. Or so I'm told, because I've never actually tried it. But now I'm cooking it, and everything can go wrong. So the lovely folk at Tom Hickson actually gifted me this A5 Wagyu ribeye steak. We're Tom Hickson of Smithfield. We're a master butchers and home for wholesale gourmet. We've been around since 1963, set up by my granddad Tom. Um, we'd like to see ourselves as exclusive beef specialists and that's why you're here today. Wagyu, USDA. So in Japan they have grading system. A5 is the top grading you can get. Considering the care and attention that's gone into making the meat, doesn't need much attention once you get gets to your kitchen. Do that two minutes on side at a very high heat. A couple of minutes on either side would be plentiful. Leave it as naked as it can be, just so you can taste it fully. So you wouldn't recommend throwing it into an MSG filled instant ramen? Uh, it wouldn't be my first choice, but I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> so I've spent less than two pounds on these two instant noodles, and I'm about to throw in this 100 pound Wagyu steak. It feels a little bit silly. I think I've maybe cooked less than 10 steaks in my life, all of which cost me under 10 pounds from my local supermarket. So could this go horribly wrong? It has potential. So first thing, grab your noodles, pop them in the water, and they barely fit. If they don't fit in your pot, just break them and put them in. Who cares? It's not like this costs 100 pounds to make. Both noodle packs come with some vegetable flakes. Add those while they're cooking. Isn't that beautiful? That looks like cat food. So once your noodles are done, strain the water, but keep the water. Put the noodles back in, and then take about a cup of your vegetable stock and put that back in. All right, now we're adding the sachets. Grab your chapaghetti one first. Add all of that in. And now when you take the nyoguri one, a lot of people say only use half of it because this one's quite spicy. Oh, oh, there's a strong, it's got a big kick. And you don't want that to overtake the black bean sauce flavor. So only use about half of that. And that's perfect balance. Wow. By straining the water, you're allowing that sauce to become a lot thicker. You've got to mix it quite well just so it's very incorporated into the noodle. I forgot the oil. It's just vegetable oil. That's done. All right, steak. You're going to want high heat for this. In Parasite, Chung Suk diced her steak before cooking it in and then throwing it into her MSG ridden noodle dish. I'm not going to do that. For my version, I'm going to pan sear the steak on both sides. But what I want to do is just have a nice sear on this Wagyu steak because I want the inside to remain rare. That way you keep the intense, rich flavor of the beef. Cooking this thing well done is a horrible thing to do and you should never do it. Genuinely, this is fucking nerve wracking. I got to like big myself up before I do this. First thing you do is pat dry the steak. Because I don't want to mask the flavor of the actual beef, I'm only going to be using a little bit of salt. Just lightly pat that in, like a baby that you would salt. Harris, who's off camera, could you do a timer for me? Yeah. One minute, please. So you don't need to add any oil at all because of the fat content of the meat. Renders out and it will cook in its own fat. That smell, that's incredible. A few moments later. Look it. Oh, baby! Look at that! Oh my gosh! That's pretty dang good. Look at the amount of fat that's rendered out of it. it smells incredible. So you're gonna wanna leave this to rest for about five minutes. That way, science happens and the juices relax and I don't know. I'm gonna keep this 
beautiful juice. That's probably worth at least 20 pounds. I'm gonna put it in the noodles. So here's the part where I cut into the steak. I'm gonna try the end. My gosh. This is my first time trying Wagyu. Mmm. <laughs> Come here, Harris. What's up? Do you want that bit? Oh, can I have the fat? Yeah, you can have the fat. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Oh my god, really? <laughs> Perfectly cooked. <laughs> mm. Any words? Any Delectable. words? Delectable. I, I, I followed it too soon. <laughs> I, I feel know. like I'm going to have beef after this and it's not going to taste like no. beef anymore. The fat coats in your entire mouth and just kind of melts away into nothing. Rob Simpson, get over here, boy. <laughs> May I feed you? If you'd like. Don't be scared. <laughs> it's okay, my son. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> this smells so bad. My dinner. No. Oh, that's pretty really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's plate this. The noodles alone, I think, have like the black bean sauce and the seafood spicy kick that you get from the yugiri. Really, it just works well together. Yeah. Dipping it in the egg. <laughs> Dip down the egg, pop it in your mouth, then get some noodles, and then start chewing. There you go. Mm. Grab some noodles. Mm. Mm. The noodles are really good. So yeah, everyone liked it? Yeah! Cool. Yeah. Great. Once again, I'd just like to thank everyone at Tom Hickson for gifting me this wonderful A5 Wagyu steak, Sakura steak from Kyushu Island. Thank you for trusting me with cooking this thing. I'm just happy that it didn't fuck up. So Tom Hickson has kindly offered anyone watching this video a 10% discount on any orders from their website. The code is on the screen now. Go, go order some meat from around the world. And I'm just gonna eat this meat. Have that fat. That's right. I'm gonna make this with cheaper steak, maybe, <laughs> but with my 10% discount. Who knows? You can cut there, Victor. <laughs> cool.